and pour. Klaus Ruf is head chef, and mixing drinks is another of his passions. The highlight, these aren't just cocktails being made here, but sophisticated juice mixes called cuvées. I've mixed an apple damson plum juice here with a little bit of black currant and elderberry juice. What we've created here is a so-called juice cuvee. This is our alcohol-free alternative for wines. It promises just as much pleasure as wine. It's the recreation of the Montepulciano wine. This Munich-based restaurant's menu boasts 40 different juice creations. The guests can choose their dish, fish or meat, and select a juice to go with it. Just like there are different wines to go with different meals. I just recommended an alternative to the Kaoru wine usually served with lamb. It's a black currant and elderberry cuvee. And an alternative for a Sauvignon Blanc with pike perch is a pear mandarin juice cuvee. These cuvées, which like wines go with certain recipes, are a rising trend, says food critic Thomas Neumann. He has tasted some very nice non-alcoholic drinks at trade fairs or during restaurant visits. We've decided that the food industry wants to be especially creative and come up with other things than just apple juice spritzer or coke and combine creative food with creative drinks and offer the guests a lot more than usual alcoholic beverages. Back to Klaus Ruf. He's mixing fresh juices for the guests. He calls them recreations because he has an equivalent wine for every juice creation. Klaus Ruf only uses fresh juices, because only those have natural aromas like wines. The usual juices have preservatives, almost no aroma, and too much sugar. So it's only fresh fruit juices. My secret is the mixing proportions. I've experimented a lot with that. And I learned from experience that some mixtures need two juices, some need three or four to bring out the best flavor and make it the perfect drink for your food. The cuvee recipes are top secret. They're served in white or red wine glasses to allow the aromas to build. A black currant and elderberry mix is good with lamb. The tannic acid in elderberry makes it taste like a dry red wine. Juice, not wine, is in. Alcohol is losing popularity compared to its heyday in the 80s and 90s, says Thomas Neumann. People today are more health conscious. They exercise, they're fitter, but don't want to give up on those special taste bud pleasures. So they go to restaurants and mix different juices to satisfy their taste buds for each individual course. Klaus Ruf, too, wants the complete taste experience. To compare, they ordered matching wines as well as juices. The juice is fantastic, unbelievably like a wine, nice and fruity, slightly tart, like a wine should be. It's a wonderful alternative. The only thing missing is the alcohol. Otherwise, it's perfect. Juice can never fully replace wine because it always has more residual sweetness. So it's easier to recreate a sweet red wine than a tart Riesling. Nevertheless, the juices do have distinct aromas and can indeed taste very dry. I'm proud of these cuvées because after a lot of experimentation, we have successfully recreated our entire wine menu. And not everyone can claim that they can serve 40 different juices to go brilliantly with their food. The cuvées cost 5 to 7 euros per glass, and they always taste different. Because just like wines, not every year is the same for fruit juices.